Good morning, Facebook, YouTube. What's up, guys? Today is April the 27th, a Wednesday. We're out here in the Chateau Elan Country Club community in Browserton. Came out here about three weeks ago. Um, gave Miss Stewart an estimate for her hardwood floors. Like a lot of clients, uh, they have housekeepers. Housekeepers have been putting mopping glow on the floors for years. And what it's doing, like a lot of floors, you see, guys, see these scuff marks? So um, this is a pretty big one. To, uh, actually, shout out to Chuck's Furniture Moving. Chuck came out this morning and moved the furniture. 2,458 square feet. Uh, wax removal at $2 a square foot. And screen and reco at $1 a square foot. And the reason why we do the $1 a square foot for the screen and reco because we're already here. And it also gives the client a price break, you know, in such a big project. So you guys look really close throughout the floors. You see these scuff marks. Um, that's when the client knew something was wrong. She saw some of our videos, came out here, gave an estimate. So we're going to take care of these floors today. The SCOBY. We also got Kevin out here. See all these scuff marks, guys? These are all in that mopping glow product. So when they're moving stuff, it's just making the floors look horrible. I came out here and did a demo. Let me show you my demo, which is right there. You see that? And that was the selling point right there. But you see all these scuff marks? See all these scuff marks, guys? Okay, so that's what we're doing. We're gonna remove all this wax, then we're gonna screen and recoat these floors and get these floors back to their original condition. All right, so here, all through here, all here, you can see where they had something sitting right there that did not get the wax build up. So that's a bit difference just in that circle in here all right guys so we're going to go ahead and get set up this job is probably going to take us about a good six seven hours i also have to go do two estimates um in the area today and um um I put one for a restaurant um that's in sugar hill and another estimate in coming i went and did another estimate this morning in atlanta that went really well it's going to end up being a screen or rico all right guys stay tuned thank you all right guys all the way. All right, guys, Kevin, keep that light right there. All right, guys, you see all that wax coming off the floors? Look at that. See that? All right, the job is going well. <laughs> all right, guys, take a look at the floors. Remember that circle that was right there? Uh, that's because we took off all the wax. Uh, there's a little area over here. I want to make a, um, it's probably the foundation of the house. I'm going to try to fill this. Uh, she wants to see if I can, well, you barely can see it anymore. Um, but overall, the wax is coming off really, really well. Then we're going to do a light screening <clears throat> of the floors. So you can see Kevin <clears throat> is extracting. Scoby goes around all the edges with the mop. So you see Kevin getting all that wax up. I just got through scrubbing this room right here. See that difference, guys? See all that wax right there? So for $3 a square foot, guys, you cannot beat this because any other company would have came in, said you had to replace the floors. She would have had to sand the floors. Um, we're able, and, 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 the, and the thing about it too, what a lot of clients like about this service, 
Guys, this job is going to take us less than one. I mean, it will be done today, and they'll be able to walk on the floor. If, 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 if this floor had to be sanded, this would be an easy, easy four to five day project, okay? So we can restore the floors, get the floors back to their original state in one day. And that's why a lot of people love this service. So you can see right here, you can still see those scuff marks. See those scuff marks right there? All right, see right here, we're taking the wax off. Beautiful, beautiful. All right guys, stay tuned. All right, guys, the guys are almost done with the wax removal. I put down two examples of satin and semi-gloss. They both look the same right now because they're both still in the wet stage. So the customers just kind of want to see, choose which one they want. So we're gonna let these fully dry and they can choose between satin and semi-gloss. So the guys, you can see, getting that last little bit of wax off the foyer. And I'm gonna go ahead and start screening the floors. Even though after removing the wax, again, we still have to screen the floors because if we not, if we don't, you're not gonna get good adhesion with your polyurethane. So you can see I already started screening. Hold on one second. See that? Get those floors screened down really, really good. All right, guys, stay tuned. All right, guys, we're almost done with the screening. Uh, you can see Mr. Scobie is over here cleaning, tacking the floors, getting those floors prepped for the poly. I also did a sample. Let me show you guys from an angle. This is the semi-gloss and this is the satin, almost dry, but you can see a big difference from the semi-gloss to the satin. So my client's gonna go get the husband and that way they can decide. She said they probably wanna go with the semi-gloss, but you could definitely see a big difference in the sheens. All right guys, stay tuned. All right, guys, as you can see, we got the first coat going down. The client ended up going with semi-gloss, and man, these floors are looking incredible. So this is just the first coat. So I'm gonna let the guys take over, um, put the first coat down. They're gonna go off and have lunch. I gotta go off and do some more estimates. But overall, guys, yes, 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 floors are looking amazing. All right, guys. Stay tuned. All right, Facebook, YouTube, this is Scoby. I'm back from lunch. Just wanted to show you how these floors turned out. I still got to do the second coat. Had to come in and do a little minor repairs. A little repair right there along the edge. But these floors turned out really nice. The second coat is going to cover the rest of it, and I had to do a little minor repair right there. Or we were showing us a sample of what the poly would look like uh, if they got a gloss fin finish and if they got a satin finish. And so I had to go back and knock the outlines 
out so it would even up. But this is how they turned out. And like I say, anything that didn't cover on the first coat would definitely cover on the second coat. But I think they turned out great. And so I'm going to go ahead and put this second coat on here. Make my way out of here. That's pretty much what we're looking at. Thanks for watching.